I'm a youth worker. Um, I live in North Melbourne. I was born with mild cerebral palsy. My parents are from Eritrea. My parents doesn't know much about disability, so pretty much I was uh, supported with my dad most of the time, um, and pretty much the community supported as well. I run my own organisation called Young Australian People. We help people with employment, um, and that's one of my big goals that um, I run my own business because I was keen to help the community. My whole life was, was pretty much um, working with a lot of young people. I had uh, risk of you know drug and alcohol and. And, and stuff like that. So I realised that I want to become a youth worker and helping young people in my community with support with employment. Um, and young people always come to me and they call me like, I need a, I need a job and you know, I try and help them with like their resumes and cover letters and things like that. They always look up to people that who are from, from the community um, to teach them ways to get into life. Um, and one of, I'm one of them. 2020, um, there was a big massive lockdown um, in North Melbourne and Flemington and the, and the other night towers. Um, basically, I heard it on TV. Um, and when Dan Andrews said that North Melbourne would be in lockdown, Australia, we, um, I called one of, most of my friends that work in the community sectors um, and pretty much called them and told them, like, listen, we need to have an emergency plan um, straight away. So um, the emergency plan was to have like a food relief in Amsa Mosque. Um, and for myself, I was pretty much leading the the the, um, the communication between the people who are downstairs and working, volunteering, and people that who are in the residence as well. So seeing what they need, we weren't able to go outside and get some food. Uh, there was no much communication between the state government or anything like that in terms of what's going on, what's happening. As a community leader, I, I realized that um, you know this is my first time being in emergency um, relief. Um, I, I was very, very was quite surprised myself um, as the way I taken that role. Yeah, so a lot of the young people were pretty much um, uh, looking up to me basically to do the role because school was locked as well. So a lot of the a lot of the young people were you know studying um, online and they missed their exams. So pretty much trying to communicate with a lot of the um, young people and see how they're going. A lot of the young people have got mental health issues, so we're you know we got we had you know organisations to set up programs and. I said that online. Basically, due to the hard lockdown, um, uh, like the, the the busy time of the of the year was pretty much um, we were helping out, and uh, I was pretty much uh, got tested positive uh, with a close uh, close contact with my brother. Um, basically, um, we couldn't able to come and support down people that downstairs, the volunteers downstairs. So we were like you know stuck, and I was pretty much I had, as I said, I had two phones, one for the parents and the community one for the for the media so what makes me up in the morning is pretty much seeing young people's faces um their smiles and their you know the, the attitude um for me uh, it keeps me going daily to see what's the, what's the issues they're going on through um for me is um life is too short for these young people basically so they look up to me for me that's you know that's motivates me to become a a youth worker and also a leader that uh, pres represents the, the young people as well. My goal is to see young people achieving their goals.